Hello everyone, we will continue the topic background jobs and in the previous videos when we finished with the coding part also how we can go for background jobs with the help of coding we understood each and everything in the debugging mode and now we will go for last important topic what is the comparison of submit a back statement and job underscore submit function module extremely important question from the interview perspective generally in every interview two questions from background jobs are always important what is the transaction code to debug the background jobs that is jdbg and yes second question the interviewer asked yes you used submit a BAP statement or you used job underscore submit function module what was the scenario why you have not used job underscore submit function module why you used submit statement at that point of time so we will go for answers of all these questions now in our current scenario we used submit a BAP statement with submit a BAP statement, we can specify the selection criteria for an a BAP report dynamically when the background job is submitted. What is the meaning of this? With the help of submit a BAP statement, whatever the selection criteria we are passing we can pass to the background job. Suppose we will understand this point. I will run this program. Suppose you are giving order number one to four. This is our selection criteria. Suppose I am giving one to three. This is our selection criteria. I am giving one to eight. This is our selection criteria. Yes whatever the selection criteria you are passing and yes it is dynamic because we can run the program for whatever the input is there whatever the selection criteria you are passing you can pass to the background job yes with the help of submit suppose if we gave order number one to five we are passing order number one to five to the background job if we are going for order number one to ten we are passing order number one to ten to the background job if we are going for order number one two three we are passing order number one two three to the background job it means with the help of submit a BAP statement whatever is the selection criteria you can pass to the background job. Just see the flexibility. You can run the background job dynamically based upon the input, whatever the input you are passing. And it is possible through which particular statement submit a BAP statement only. It is never, never possible through job underscore submit function module to understand thoroughly why why it is not possible through job underscore submit function module we will call that job underscore submit function module and we will see the practical part suppose i am commenting this as of now and now suppose i will go for job underscore submit function module so i will go to pattern button I will pass the name of the function module job underscore submit. So we have the various parameters. So I will give the firstly job count. What is the job number? This is our job number. Now I will specify the job name. This in this variable we have the job name. Now, just compare 
with the help of submit with the help of job underscore submit or submit what you are doing you are adding a step to the background job or you can understand we are attaching the program to the background job if i will go to sn36 transaction code if i will give some name to the job so we are attaching program to the background job with the help of submit or statement or we can say job underscore submit function module previously you pass the program name like this now we need to pass the same to same program to job underscore submit now just see we have a parameter here report i will uncomment report parameter now i will pass same to same program here firstly i will double click i will go to import i'll check the type of report report is of this type i will copy and it is clearly saying report to run in the background job which program you want to run in the background job so now i will declare variable suppose i will say lv underscore report type I will give the value and what is my program name? This is our program name, which we want to run in background. Now I will pass this variable LV underscore report. Same thing. Previously we did through submit a BAP statement. Now we are doing through job underscore submit function model i'll copy and paste now we will pass the variable what is the variable name lv underscore report now language is by default sci lang you only if you see job underscore submit if we are passing the language or not passing the language, by default, it is Sci Langu. And what is our system language as of now? English. Just compare it to SM36. You can see English language automatically coming. And we are not passing the language. So by default, it will take the system language. Now, if you see job underscore submit function module, there is one mandatory parameter, auth check and am. If I will double click on the function module, if I will go to import, you can see auth ck num is not a optional parameter. Optional is not ticked. It is a mandatory parameter, mandatory parameter. We will not pass any value, but yes, it is a mandatory parameter. So we will just pass the blank variable and just see the description. Background username for authorization check. If you want, yes, your background job should be run by specific user only. If you want to go for authorization, you can specify that particular username. As of now, we are not going for any authorization. So I will simply, simply pass the blank variable. So I will copy the type and I will declare a variable. Suppose I will pass LV underscore user. Type this. We are not going for any value. We are not going for any authorization check. I will go for LV underscore user. I will check the syntax and activate. Now just understand. In the previous case, when you use the submit a BAP statement, whatever the order numbers are there, 
you are passing to the background job. Yes, that is possible through submit a BAP statement. You are passing the order numbers whenever the background job is submitting. Have you seen in this function module, do you have an option? There is no option at all. Whatever the order numbers you are passing from the screen, can we pass those order numbers to this job underscore submit function model? There is no such provision. And this is the main, main difference we covered. Yes, with the help of submit a BAP statement, yes, whatever the selection values are there, you can pass to the background job. But with the help of job underscore submit, we cannot go for 